Clarence. Do you like riding the seven tree? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. My name is Clarence Eckerson II, and your name is? Yes, and we live here in Jackson Heights, and we would love to see the Fast Forward plan fully enacted because from here to West Forth, where we're going today, we would save 110 hours per year. And that's a lot of time, right, Clarence? Yes. So yes. we want the subways fixed, right? Yeah. Fix the subway. You know, it's important to translate these sort of big numbers of dollars into what it means to people who ride the subway in terms of time. That's quantified, but also just what does that mean for the quality of life? We used October 2018 data from New York City Transit to predict what travel time and reliability benefits CBTC, the new signal system, uh, will bring to uh, subway lines across the city. Oftentimes that commute is riddled with delays, with overcrowding, and it causes people economically, it causes people their time, and New Yorkers are fed up. Well, yeah, if you're talking five, six minutes a day over the week, you know, times five and over 52 weeks a year, you're talking about a lot of time that you can spend doing other things. All of us should be behind this. We're tired of getting stopped on the street and being told by our neighbors that they can't get to work, that they can't get to their doctor's appointments, and that the, and that the train stations are just not working. Uh, it's 110 hours.